apartment. I know said, my sweet love. It was my turn to invite you over to my apartment since you invited me over to your house last week. But hey, what's your apartment door? I want to see which one do you live. I you didn't notice that. I actually live in the door 3B. Do you want to come in? I have a special gift for you. Wow, a gift. It's amazing. What is it? You'll have to come with me if you want to know what I'm going to give you. Alright, that sounds good. Good, now let's get inside my apartment. Shall we? Konnichiwa mom and dad. I'm home, and I brought someone over. Konnichiwa to you too Haruka. But hey, who's that boy next to you? Didn't I tell you not to have a boyfriend until you were 18? Dad, please, listen. Sid has been my boyfriend since we started fourth grade. And the best part is that we had our first kiss at that time. Fine, I'll let it happen just for this time. And if I catch you kissing that Jew again, you're grounded. Do you understand? Okay, okay. I understand. Good. That's what I want to hear. Alright, so this is my room. But don't touch anything while I find what I ordered yesterday. Do you really understand? Yes, I completely understand. You better not do that. But that sounds good to me. What is it? Yes, I really, really, really mean it. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Oh, Haru, I love you too. Just let me open it. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh my god, it's a karaoke machine. You didn't have to do this. But thank you so much, Haru. You are such a great girlfriend. Oh my goodness. Sid, I never knew you would. <laughs> this has gotten to be the cutest thing I've ever seen. Hey, who the fuck said that? It was me who said moron. You make such a really cute couple when your little boyfriend kissed you. Ha <laughs> uh, I should have known it was you, and Sid. Listen to my sister, much like you told me not to listen to yours. I strongly agree with you, Haru. Zuko is so annoying. Fine, let's see how annoying I can be. Zuko, don't you dare toy with my feelings for Sid. I swear to Buddha. Yeah, I agree with your sister. Because if you do, you're going to face the consequences. I swear to Yahweh. Sid and Haruka sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G Um, Haruka, said, Why the fuck are you both so furious at me? Did I do something wrong? Or what? Zuko, stop this right this fucking instant. How dare you toy with my feelings for Sid? That was not funny of you to do that. That's it. We had enough of you toying with our feelings. Get out of your sister's room right fucking now. And don't even think about coming back. Ever. Again. Hey, what's going on here? Why am I hearing loud noises coming from there? Mom, thank goodness you are here. I just gifted to the very machine as a thank you for helping me with my science project. 
She did. What? Oh my fucking god. Thanks for telling me about this Haruka and Sid. I am going to deal with Natsuko about this. You're welcome. Natsuko Kotna. What the fuck? Why would you toy with your sister's feelings for her boyfriend? Do you know that it means? Um, no mom. That means you are emotionally manipulating your sister and brother-in-law. Like messing with them. And for this. You are grounded for a whole week as an effect from now. Yeah, Otsuko. Now get out of my room right now. And don't ever toy with my feelings for your sister ever. Man, I hate my life so much. Can this day get any worse than this? And that should teach her a lesson. And Sid, I'm so sorry for my sister toying with our feelings for each other. She is just like a Cupid who wants to ship two people. Just don't listen to her. I totally understand Haru. And that's okay. It's not even your fault. Well that's fine Haruka. You can go out with Sid if you want. Thank you mom. You are the best. You're welcome.